Good morning, good morning. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in the UK, back for another Coffee and Cards on a Tuesday morning live on Facebook. I'm just getting set up, so uh, bear with me as I move my position a little bit, just a better angle to see you. Ah, good morning, happy Tuesday to you. Got a lot of glare on my glasses, let's take those off. Ah, good morning, Philomena. Good morning, Joe. How are you? Oh, thank you for sharing. That's so kind of you. That helps me such a lot. Thank you. Morning, Mum. Oh, Karen wants to be in my video. I'm not sure how that works, Karen. Do join along. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, happy Tuesday. I can't believe where the week has gone and I'm so sorry I wasn't with you last week. So at the last minute, I had to go and collect my son, John, who had uh, fallen over in his ice skating lesson. So um, obviously he couldn't drive, he'd hurt his knee and he's sprained the anterior cruciate ligaments in his knee. So he's now, he's now on crutches for a couple of weeks and he's got a leg brace, but he's getting around and he's not too sore and he's doing fine. But yeah, I had to drive to Bedford and back and things like that. So no coffee and cards last week, it all got a bit frantic. So thanks for being patient. Hello, good morning, Karen. Good morning, Jen. I hope you're okay, my lovely. I have got my coffee this morning. Uh, I hope you've got your coffee for coffee and cards. Cheers to you. It is lovely to be back with you. It is so nice. I do enjoy the Facebook Lives. Uh, I feel I feel more connected this way. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see you, but you can see me, and it just feels a bit more connected. Good morning, Zaina. I'm glad you're okay, Jen. So... I was going to play with the Plentiful Plant Stamp set last week and uh, anyway, I've left that where it is and I've moved on and I'm onto the Pansy Patch. Uh, I love this. I did say I'll be using it for coffee and cards this month, so I didn't want to uh, change it up too much in case that's what you're going to use to stamp along with me. You're at Ladybird's Quilting and yet you're still here. That's lovely, Mum. You enjoy the quilting. Show us what you've been doing. Take a little picture and pop it in the Ink Stamp Share Your Craft Facebook group. Let's just change this over so that you can see here. <laughs> it's always putting it back over the trouble. There you are. This is the Pansy Patch stamp set. It's got, uh, actually, we're not really playing with this. We're playing more with the, with, the, with the dies. But I'll show you the stamp set. You can do all this triple st step stamping and create pansies with it. And I used it two weeks ago and I showed you exactly how to stamp those up. So if you missed that and are interested, just pop back. You can see it on YouTube or you can see it here on my Facebook page. Just scroll back and you'll be able to find it. But I am going to be using today these sentiments. I really like these. So thank you. Happy birthday. A little hello from me to you. Wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. The little things you do make such a difference. My camera is at an angle and it's very high. Let's just see if I can uh, rectify it because it's all very strange. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I want to hold it so you don't kind of suddenly drop down. I feel like I'm peeping over their fence at you all. <laughs> oh dear, there we are. Mm, that's still not right. Let me put the clippers back. There, that's a bit better, isn't it? How is that there? It's so sorry. <laughs> I was kind of like, hello, here I am. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so I'll just have a little coffee, but I am going to be using the, the dies. And when we turn the camera around, I'll show you all the dies. I'm going to be doing a little bit of sponging and inking and showing you how to colour those pansies. Yeah. So um, I've only recently had a play with sponging the uh, die cuts and it's fabulous. I love it. So with these stamp set and dies, you can cut out the pansies from the designer series paper, which is fabulous. You can cut out different pansies from the cardstock and build a pansy. That's really, really effective. I did that before a few times. And uh, today I am cutting the pansies out of basic white cardstock and sponging and inking and colouring them. I'll just see if I can get rid of these little icons so I can see comments but I, oh no no I've got loads of weird things on there oh, I don't know I don't know what's this no I don't want any of that oh yeah you have to go I'm not surprised mum enjoy your quilting and you're gonna let the cat out Zaina 
all sorts is going on. All sorts is going on. So yeah, it's just been a very busy time for everyone. I think that now the restrictions are lifting and we're all going out a lot more and the weather's a little bit better. So we're all a bit busier, aren't we? But um, it's really nice to feel like that. It's lovely. We had a lovely, lovely weekend. I hope you guys did too. We had a friend come over that we haven't seen. He did manage to come over for an outside visit when the restrictions were lifted last summer. Um, and this is the first time we've seen him since then and he stayed with us for a night over the weekend and that was just lovely to catch up with him. And we went out and did things like that. And uh, my whole family's at home because it's the summer and obviously they finished with uni and well, they've been at home all the time anyway. It's just busy time and uh, obviously Jacob's at school. They'll be breaking up soon. And how are you all? Joe, I see you finished your last shift. Um, you're doing your volunteering at the vaccine, our local vaccination centre. Thank you to you for doing that. That's absolutely amazing. You star. Uh, that was a couple of weeks ago, I think. You let the cat out and now you're back. Okay, so I'm just trying to think of what stamping up news we've got coming. Uh, us demonstrators are very excited because we've got the Christmas, well, so we call it the Christmas, it's, it's actually the July to December catalogue and we have already got to see it via a PDF. We're waiting for our physical copies to come in the post, but from this week we're able to order all the Christmas goodies uh, so we can get everything prepared, samples done, so we can show you how to use all the stuff. So that's coming very soon and we're excited and I think customers can order from it from August. Hello, Linny. Thank you for joining us. Oh, that's so lovely. I hope you're okay, my lovely. I'm really enjoying seeing all your photos on Facebook from your walking. I've been out for a walk this morning as well and I've been posting some pictures of the swans and the cygnets around the lake. So yeah, you can catch those on my Instagram. I've got Instagram for Ink Stamp Share, but I've also got a, a personal uh, Instagram post where I post all that kind of stuff. It's just uh, Mrs. Kate Bolt, so you can find all my wildlife pictures there if you're interested. Lovely photos, Liddy. You should enter some photo, photo photographic competitions. Really good, really, really good. So I'm gonna switch the camera around and we're gonna crack on with today's cards and we're gonna have some fun, some inky fun. I've already been playing, so you can see my hands are already inky, inky fingers. Okay, this is the fun part. It's always a bit clunky, so I will apologise. Um, it's quite clunky in turning it over. I have to take you out of the tripod. So let's do this. I know, but you're very good at it, Linny. You're very good at it. Here we go. I'm turning you around. So you can see my crafty space. You can see all the ink colours that I've got lined up there. And the papers. I am going to be using some of those. There's the stamps that I've shown you. Right, let me see. I'm going to have to... Put it down because I need two hands to rejig the tripod in the right position. Here we go. So sorry, it must be like forever for you guys. There we are. Oh, no, that's very close. So it's organized. There we are. That's a little better, isn't it? So I've got my designer series paper out because I'm gonna be using some of it. Now, these are the beautiful papers. You can see that I've been cutting into mine. These big pansies, you can cut out with the pansy dies. And I'll show you the dies. I've taken quite a lot of the dies out because I'm using them this morning. These are the ones that are left in the packet. It's all a bit of a muddle. But these larger ones, you can see, cut out these guys somehow. This way, I think. So you can see how you can cut out all the pansies from the DSP. Um, and I imagine you can cut out all the small ones as well. If I get it the right way up anyway. I think so. I just don't go the right way up. It must be that way. Yeah, there you go. So you can cut out all the little ones. Um, so that's really nice, but there's a lot of different designs in the papers and I've just chopped into mine quite a lot, but I'll pull them out if you haven't already seen them and get a little peek. There's all these beautiful ones. The leaves, cut out this one and cut all these leaves out from the dies. Um, this one's really pretty. Another one of those. This one, 
There's a lot of beautiful, beautiful papers in the pansies. Oh, we have got a paper sale coming on the 1st. When is the 1st? Is that Thursday? I want to say 1st is Thursday. If it is, we have got our designer series paper sale. So the pansies will be in it. And you, Hello, Lucy. Lovely of you to join us. Um, and you can get 15% off. So that's worth doing if you're going to get some designer series papers. Okay, so these are the other sides. These are really good. And I'm going to be using some of the other sides this morning for a change. Aren't they nice? So, yeah. Let's move them out of the way anyway. Any who? Any old who? Because I can't really work with the, all of them in there. And I thought, just because I was feeling a bit lazy, lazy today, I have got... Um, the basic white note cards and envelopes. These come in a pack of 20 pre-scored and all the envelopes and everything. So I was feeling lazy. I thought we'll make little cards, note cards, because these are fabulous to send to people. And then I would just, yeah, don't have to cut up all the cardstock. Okay, saying that, I have been doing a lot of cutting out on my dirty grid. I've just been inking on this one. And I have, these are the dies that I took from the, from the die set, which is here. And these are the ones that I have used today. And I needed quite a lot of pansy pieces. So here's a tip for you. Grab your trimmer. Grab a piece of basic white cardstock, which I'm going to have to turn around and get. Something like this. And then if you want to cut out a, a bunch of pansies like this, to make a card, cut two inch strips off the end and then run those through your big shot, not big shot, <laughs> stamp and cut and emboss machine with the dies on it. Makes life so much easier. Quick tip for you there. So you can get a lot of these on here. So you can get flowers and two leaves. So I'm going to cut them out. I only need to cut the leaves out once, but I need to cut the flower out three times. And then these are the centers and you can cut three at a time. So I'd only need to cut one of those. Does that make sense? So you can fit all that down there and put it through the big shot once and you've got the whole lot cut out. And then you just need to repeat it for these three bits for another two times to make your card. And then you've got loads done. So that just makes that a little bit easier. Top tip. And of course, if you want to make others, you've got all these other dies as well. I'll put the dies out of the way, but those are the ones we're using. Okay, so I've got my little note card. This is really dirty, but I'm, I'm not going to change it because it's going to get even more dirty in a minute. And I have cut out a load of pieces. Do you see what I've cut out? So I'm going to show you how to ink up the white pansy to make your card. So I'll put the rest there. So I've got my trusty sponge daubers and I have got gorgeous grape. I've just picked some colours I fancied that I think might look like pansy colours but if you actually look at pictures of pansies or go and look at pansies you'll see they come in a whole rainbow. I don't think you really need to stick to anything terribly. So I've got um, Gorgeous Grape and So Saffron. I've got Polished Pink. And I think I'm going to use Pale Papaya. So I've got all of these colours here. Um, and I'm just going to use two, two colours per pansy. All right. So I'm going to start off with the Gorgeous Grape. So I've got my ink pad, I've got my sponge dauber. This is definitely a purpley one. So I'm going to ink it up quite well and I'm just going to ink around the edges. Quite a deep dark colour. And it's really satisfying and easy to do. Jo, I think you've done this already. I was, I was looking back because I'm sure we had a conversation about you sponging up the pansies. So I looked back in the craft group and I definitely see some pansies that you've been sponging. And they were fabulous. I'm not sure if you did it the same, but probably similar. So a nice dark colour around the edge. And I'm going to do the same for the other part of the pansy. Like 
like that, okay? And I keep my sponge daubers with my ink colour so that I don't get them confused. Okay, and then for the little collar bit, I'm going to use a bit of yellow. Now, I've got a load on there, so I'm just going to dab it. I don't want it too, too dense. Is that the right word? Too much. They are really fun to do, aren't they? I think I could be addicted to doing these. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, so I've done the little collar bit that fits on the middle. I'm going to put some, a little bit more of the So Saffron on my sponge dauber. And then I'm going to start going from the middle, just a little bit, outwards like that. And it kind of gives that, if you sponge them, there's no hard edges, so it's more natural. Like that. Okay, so I've got that one, I've got that one. Oh, and I haven't put an, a yellow uh, middle on my one that I was playing with, so I'll need to do that. <laughs> there we are. Okay, so we've got that going on. Now I'm gonna glue them together. And glue them together, it's very simple. Glue the end of the this bit that looks like a, uh, a petal a single petal and then just tuck it behind and put it together like that and your pansy is already taking shape and then before I put the collar on I'm going to use a little bit more of the gorgeous grape now this is a really dark color and I want it this this bit really light so I'm going to rub off a lot of the color from my sponge and then I'm just going to go in and blend where the yellow ends into the edges. You've still got a bit of that white showing through, but it kind of all the colours blend. And there we go. And then I'm going to put my little collar on. Pop that on there. And then the middle. I might just put the dot in the middle here. Like that. I think it goes like a teardrop. If that makes sense, it's like a teardrop shape. It's not quite a circle. Oh, came off on my sticky finger. Like so. How's that for a pansy? I love it. Thanks, Philomena. You could almost distress them a little bit with your fingers, couldn't you? And make them a little bit more, less rigid, I think. Break down the fibres a little bit. There we go. Morning, Karen. Okay, so we've got that there. I'm going to try the other colour now. We'll see which one we like. So I tried a few different ways. Here's another one. And I'm going to go for polished pink. Sorry, no, it's not a very good way of doing it. Right, there we are, polished pink. And we're going to do the same. We're just going to go right, that's very intense, isn't it? Right around the edge. Sorry if you can hear the dog's breathing. He's fast asleep. I took him for a little walk. <laughs> He likes to come out with me in the mornings, get our steps in. I've been trying to get my steps in, so dog's been coming. So the same as before. And then I have chosen a uh, pale papaya. Good morning, Hilary. Sorry, that was a bit loud. <laughs> Didn't mean to be so loud. Sorry. Good morning, Hilary. Lovely to see you. Right, I'm going to add the pale papaya in. Just a little bit like we did. Just like that. Let's close that one up. And then find another little collar, because I think I'll keep those yellow. 
So I've got So Saffron is the yellow I'm using. It's quite a nice colour. It's not too bright. It's quite a muted yellow. So I just like to dot it so it's not too, too yellow. I'll show you. I really inked up the first one I did and I inked it up too much. So I inked... Hi, Helen! Lovely of you to join us. So I inked a little colour up like that, but the first time I did it, I did it like that. Do you see the difference? And I much prefer this. It's entirely up to you, but I really like the kind of... It feels a bit more natural, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so there's that one. And then we need to make our little centre yellow. Just don't want to mix up my um, sponge daubers. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the pink. Okay, I'm going to rub a lot of the pink off like I did before. And I'm just going to add a little bit. Otherwise, it would be just be too much. A little bit around the edge, like that. There we go. So pink. These would be great to add to anything. So you don't have to make a card with your pansies, do you? If you wanted a box or a gift tag or something to go on top of a, yeah, a gift box. Or if you're doing a scrapbook page, these would lie flat quite nicely. Yeah, they're great fun to make. Ooh. My glue just gummed up. I don't know why it's got plenty in it. I've just managed to block the end by taking so long. <laughs> okay, here we go. So pop the, the back on like that. Then the little collar. So we're going to end up with three. I might try a different colour, but I don't know if I've got any more. Oh, Hilary, it's beautiful. Um, I think it's one of those ones, I've got to say, I've used it and used it and used it and used it, and I keep finding different ways of using it. I think it's really worth it. Whereas sometimes you'll buy a suite and you'll use it the way you think it should be used, and then you're looking around for ideas. Does that make sense? Um, but I don't need to do that for the pansies. I think they are really good value. Yeah, good investment, I would say, to be your stash. Really nice ones. Um, you know that if you buy the um if you buy the stamp set and the dies together, you save 10%. Um now if you buy the suite, it comes under one product number. Because um, you can buy all the individuals in the suite as one under one number, or you can buy all the items in the suite separately. If you buy the uh, suite, you still get the 10% off for the bundle. But if you wait until the paper sale on Monday, you'd be better off buying the paper in the sale, the stamp and die as a bundle, and then I think it's just the little gold bumblebees buy it like that you'll save money again so that might be worth it just saving um 10 percent on your stamp and die bundle and then you say 15 percent on your dsp i think yeah i'm pretty sure that's how it would work so it might be worth it just save a little bit more money on your paper is all right any questions just let me know if i've not explained that very well because it was a bit of a rush all right we're going to do another one what other color oh i did have another color out so I think I'm going to pop that one back away and this one and this one. Here we go. And I'm going to bring in, watch, I might need this one. I'm going to bring in Fresh Freezer. Fresh Freezer. I like this. It's one of our new in colours, same as Pale Papyri is actually. So I'm going to do the same. Oh, hang on. What colour is that? Nothing, that's the one I'm using. That's the pink one. That's the grape one. <laughs> okay, because I've used them so many times, they're not the same colour anymore, but I wash them. Oh, I'm sorry to be such a bad influence. I'm a bit of an enabler, but what can I say? <laughs> Honestly, it's terrible. But it is one that I would, um, I would recommend. 
sometimes you know it's easy to wait for things you don't need them and do you really need you know six different stamp sets are all the same but this one this one is brilliant i'm going to be using it a lot <laughs> so i've edged it and this one like that okay put that one there and then we're going to go with the pale papaya in the middle you can do any color i definitely want to play around with some more blues I think the blues would be amazing. Okay, so I can put that one back for a minute. Get the so saffron out, which is our yellow centers. And I should have another little tiny yellow center. Oh, neither me, neither me, Hilary. <laughs> Not on stamping products and not from stamping up. It doesn't take a lot to tempt, to tempt me, honestly. But they're so good. They're so good. It's like, you know, it just jumps into your basket. What, what can you do? Rub off some of that fresh freesia like I did on the last couple and just ink a little bit in that white space, not too much, just to make it nicely shaded. Life's too short anyway. You can't take it with you. <sighs> and what's wrong with bread and jam, beans on toast? <laughs> Honestly. So pop that one on there. There is a word, isn't there, for that accidental thing that, that leaps into your shopping basket. There's this phrase for it. I don't know what it is, but I'll find out. <laughs> Okay, that one on there. See, this is really delicate looking as well, isn't it? How beautiful. With just a bit of sponging. Very happy with those. And then we'll put a card together. I expect you've seen a sponging. Morning, Karen. Those give it a world eyes look amazing. I haven't had them yet. Yet is the operative word. I have seen so many, so many um projects with those give it a will dies yeah another one another one that we love okay so let's put that one on there if i keep them all in the right ones we'll know which one they are okay so let's bring this one in oh i do need to do my leaves too so let's ink up some leaves you can just cut these out of cardstock if you wanted to uh, colored cardstock instead of white but to give it the same feel as the pansies, I thought I'd do the same. So I have got a soft succulent. You've played with the leaves stamp, have you? And the paper, Zaina. There's so many different things you can do with these pansies, isn't there? So I'm just gonna rub across the leaves. Now, the dyes also emboss this variegated veins. Does that make sense? Like that so when you rub across with a green ink it really makes them pop and add as little as much as you want like that you see how I got all colored fingers this morning and then just go around the edges just to define them I love doing that you don't have to have a finger sponge, you could have a sponge door, but you can use one of the other sponges, whatever you've got. Okay, so that's the leaves. I just want two, I think. And I've grabbed a little piece of the paper. So the note cards, when they are folded, they are three and a half by five. So I've taken a piece of the designer series paper and I've cut it to three and a quarter by four and three quarters of an inch, just to give a little quarter of an inch 
gap around the outside. And I'm going to use what we would call the B side to give it a bit of a more neutral background. This is beautiful, but it's kind of, it's really uh, vying for attention with the pansies. So I'm going to go with this because it's really pretty. And it's also that colour we used. It's the, um, mm -mm -mm, what's it called? Fresh Freesia. Yeah. Oh, thank you. If the um, thank you very much. If you're looking to build your stash, this is a great one to have. All the designer series paper comes in this year's in colors, so you can buy the in colors as a little collection of ink pads. You could buy a little collection of uh the pens. They come in a pack. You can buy a pack of assorted cardstock in the in colors, which you can't with the other colors. So you could build that with the papers and the inks. It's a really good way of building your stash so you've got everything that coordinates to start with. So, okay, you can get ribbons, all sorts of things. Here we go, we're gonna build up our pansies. Now I might, I hadn't finished the card, I just had it in my head. So I think we'll do it um, landscape. I think we'll go like this and we'll have a leaf, bring it down a little bit, and another leaf, I'm so inky, and then we need to think, I've got a scrap of white, we need to think about a sentiment and then I'll glue it all together. So we could have a little hello from me to you, love you much. Thank you, Philomena. Could I have thank you? I think I'll just do a thank you. Now, I could get another die set out. The stitched dies, what are they called? The sweetly stitched, uh, stitched so sweetly dies look amazing with this stamp set. But I don't want to use too many different products because I don't want you to feel like you have to have all of the different products to create with. So let's just cut a triangle. Not a triangle, a rectangle. I've got a stamp missing there. I have got a stamp missing there. That's odd. I haven't used this for ages. Hmm. It's okay, I don't need to use it for now. I will find it. Is it this one? There it is. It was, <laughs> it just migrated. So, thank you is what we're after, isn't it? Thank you. Now, I think I'll use, what colour shall I use to stamp with? Shall I use the Gorgeous Grape to make it pop? Let's try it. The green might be nice. Let's try it in grape. I agree with you. Let's try it in grape. Yep. Thank you, in grape. That will do. And I've got my trusty um, chamois in here. Look at that. How grim is that? That's like after it's gone through the washing machine, but it does the job. So it will clean off all the excess ink off my stamp straight away. But I had a really good tip from somebody when I was, uh, I did a post about her state of my chamois and somebody said, when you wash it through, wash it in Zoflora disinfectant, the, the nice fragrant one. And then every time you open your little box with your chamois in, it smells amazing. It does. It does. I'm a bit hooked now. <laughs> so yeah, put some Zoflora in your chamois box. Probably stops any of those nasties as well. Right, I'm just going to literally cut around the sentiment. And hopefully it'll work. And then we can stick it together. Yeah, you do as well, Jen. Perfect. Maybe it was you who said it. Somebody said it to me. 
I was like, mmm, that's genius. Let's try that. And it does. It smells amazing. That one. So I am putting the Tombow on the bottom two. And I'm going to put a stamp and dimensional on the top one to lift it up slightly. But I'm putting glue just in the middle. That way I can tuck in my leaves. Let's bring it out a bit. And I was going to bring it that way. Like that. Oop. See, I'm gluey. Like that. I just want to see how it looks. So that's fine. Let's glue that one down. Let's grab a sticky foam pad. Here we are. Stamping dimensionals to the to the ready. Should I just use one or two? Let's use two so that it stays there. We don't want it to move. Oh yeah, I do that too, Zayna. It's a really good idea. In fact, I use it in lots of places. So useful. I've got a little spray bottle for it. Good old Mrs. Hinch, huh? And her tips. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a leaf in wherever you want it to go. You really don't want it to stick up too much because you wanna be able to um, put your card in the envelope. And the envelopes for the note cards fit, but they're quite snug. So you don't want anything hanging off the edge of it. There we are. Oh, that's a really good idea. The men's lose. Oh, dear. That's a place of dread, isn't it, really? <laughs> okay, let's pop some foam back. Uh, pads on here, stamping dimensionals on the little sentiment at the bottom. I'm taking my time today. I hope that's all right. I just feel like we missed out last week. Don't worry if you can't stick with me the entire time. There we are. Thank you. Now, I did have some gems. Where are you, gems? Here they are. Right, I've got some of these, or I've got some of the in colour ones. Let's have a look. Oh, I just dropped some. So I was, just, I was saying you can get a collection of the in colour things. So you can see on here we've got polished pink, uh, pale papaya, evening evergreen, fresh freesia, and soft succulent. So I think I'll use those ones. And I think we'll put on I think we'll put some of the uh, fresh freesia ones on. There we go. Pop those to the side so I know that I haven't lost them. I know where they are. There we are. And then you can just stamp thank you inside. But your your card is made. Let's stamp thank you inside. I really love these pansy stamped, uh, sponged and inked like that. Really do. And they don't take that long to cut out. If you do them in a nice long strip and do lots at once, um, they'd really you can make short work of it and if you really wanted to decorate the inside and the envelope you could take the stamps and stamp pansies inside so that's our first one and then i just thought we'd make another one the same i've got um but maybe i'll try a different color this i haven't tried a lot of colors yet so i've got two ready i have got some leaves. I've got an extra leaf there. I won't go a bit mad. And I've got the, the centres. Okay. So let's grab a blue. Oh dear. Drop something. I 
we're going for balmy blue. Sure, how this is going to work, but we'll give it a whirl. We don't like it, we don't have to use it, do we? Right, I am going to do one with a very dark night of measles. This one has green on it. Oh, this one has green on it, but we don't want a green one, do we? I've got a clean one there. I definitely need to sort out all my sponge daubers. That one. Okay. Let's see how dark this comes. Thank you, guys. That's very kind of you. I've got a dog hair stuck to me. Oh, he gets everywhere, that poochie does, doesn't he? <laughs> Let's see how this works. Okay, so we've got the dark blue. Let's pop that one there. And then I'm gonna go for balmy blue. So I need another one that's not completely blue. Right. Clean that off a bit. There we go. So. Yeah, this is gonna be um, yeah. Kind of a bluey blue. Bluey blue, is that even a thing? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just dab it. Okay, like that one. Let's pop that one there. I think that sponge dauber needs a bit of a wash. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And then we need a yellow collar. So I don't have an awful lot of yellow left on this, so I can rub it quite hard, which is quite good. Let's pop the collar on. There we go. That's the yellow. Let's pop that one. Actually, where's our little middle? We need our centre, don't we? I've colours that in the middle of all the white newers. Yes, yes. Honestly, I keep washing mine. And honestly, I've had them for so such a very long time. I do need to replace mine. They, they do get to a point, I think. Um, yeah. And I'm... <laughs> your son bought you a new box because he kept knocking the clean ones off the sink. I do that. I have them on my draining board. I'm sure my kids would be fed up knocking them off the sink as well. It's quite funny, isn't it? Clean that thank you stamp up because it's sitting there looking at me. It's not very clean. There we are. Okay, now I've got to find another one. I might use a piece of this sponge. So I've got these sponges as well. You know the big grain sponges? I don't think we're carrying them anymore. We might be. Um, I like to cut them up anyway and use those. So I might just use a bit of that. I might just use a bit of the light blue because I think I contaminated it on that one just to see what it looks like. Yeah. Who's Giz? Is Giz your cat? Well, yeah, the blue looks better now. So I'm gonna, instead of using the dark blue, I'm gonna go in with the light. It does look better, although it's still a bit muddy, but you get the idea.
Thanks, Philomena. I quite like the blue too. Might look nice with the um, fresh freezer. I might try that. So we've got one. Let's try one with the fresh freezer. There you go. There's our our pansy. So I think we're gonna go fresh freezer. That's gorgeous grape. She's growing doing your pain in the butt. Oh. oh, our black cat liked to be outside a lot too. He was always outside. He didn't come in very much and he certainly wasn't a lap cat until he got a very old man. They're lucky, aren't they, black cats? I do miss having a cat. I think the dog missed the cat for a little while. We uh, had to have our cat put to sleep last summer, um, unfortunately. And I think the dog missed him for a while, but he's fine all right now. Okay, I do miss having a cat. So if this is going to be controversial. I'm going to see what the blue is like. Not the Knight of Navy. Let's move that one out of the way. Cats are independent creatures, aren't they? Right, just needed a little bit more ink. On that one and a little spot for in the middle. There we are. It's a little work of art making these pansies. Oh, before I stick it down, let's do the inside. That just makes it a little bit easier, I think. So, what colour was I going to do? Balmy blue. And I'm going, after this, I'm going off to wash all my sponge daubers. <laughs> It'll be lined up on the sink. I'm sure someone else knocks mine off. She does what? Your cat follows you and she carts off your craft stuff so she can get more attention. They know how to do it. They absolutely have us eating out of their hands, don't, don't they, these animals? They absolutely know how to work us. They're not daft. Oh, I like this. Goodness, I thought this was going to be horrible. <laughs> oh, dear. I did. Actually, when I started putting the colours together, I thought, oh, no, this isn't going to work. Actually, I like it. How strange. I think sometimes you just have to play with colour. You aren't always going to know exactly what goes into it. Well, me, anyway. I'm a very visual person. I like to see it really properly see things before I know if I like them. There, that little bit fits in there, if it'll stay glued in. Put that glue on there. There we go. Have you still got your cat, Hilary, if you're still with us? Have you still got your cat? Let us know. Hilary had a lovely pussy cat too. All right, let's move the blue and come back in with the fresh freesia. I'm going to blend that in a little bit more.
Cherry cobbler would be a great colour, wouldn't it? Good shout. Gosh, it would be good on the edges, wouldn't it? What would you put in the middle? There we go. Oops, a daisy, I keep knocking everything off. That's a blue one that I use for Night of Navy. That is that one. Okay, good. I'm happy with those. And then I might do, just do one more so we can make a card with it. Let's grab a card base. Oedipus, I couldn't remember the name of your cat, Oedipus. I love it. <laughs> oh, is Oedipus all right? It's a great name for a cat. Right, I'm just choosing what paper I'm going to use for the background on this little card before we finish up. Um, we've got soft sage, that's nice. We've got uh, fresh freesia, but I think I'm gonna use, shall I use pale papaya to lift it slightly? I think I will. So I use a piece of that. Are you scared to cut your papers, ladies? Don't be scared to cut your paper. Sometimes we can be scared to cut it because it's too nice, but go for it. That's my advice. Just go for it. Because there's always more. Right, I'm going to cut it. And I need it to be, what, uh, three and a quarter, did I say? Right, three and a quarter inches by four and a half. If you have a pattern, make sure you're doing it out the right way. Oh, actually, I'm probably not gonna use the pattern, am I? I'm gonna use this, this is what I wanted. Um, which has got a pattern, but it's multi-directional, if that makes sense. Four and three quarters. There we are. Oh, I've got some other ones I've already made. Okay, so we have got the blue one, we have got this one. We could do with some with a papaya on it. Would that work? It's a bit bright, isn't it? Mm, we're gonna go this way, aren't we? What would happen? She's a little, it's got a bit of arthritis. Oh, bless her. But 16 years old, whoa. Nope, we're gonna go that one and we're gonna do one more. I've got some leaves. Would this work, I wonder? And I wonder if it would work better than the blue one. I think the blue one's a little dark for this card, although I really like the blue, but I think I'm gonna stick with this. Otherwise you'll be watching me make these the whole day. We don't have any centers on these. I'll put one in, I'll have to cut one more out. Cause the ones I made to try out, I didn't, um, I didn't put any centres on them. I should use some of those uh, bumblebee trinkets. 16 years old, that's just brilliant, isn't it? To have a cat for that long. Bless her, Oedipus, it's a great name. Oops. I don't, these don't want to stick down today because I've got so much glue on my fingers, they want to come back off. Right, I'm gonna grab the little die and a little scrap and just cut these out on my stamping up cutting the bottom sheet. Exactly the same as my old big shot again, better. <laughs> it really is. My old big shot was uh had its leg, oh uh, it was on its last legs though, so but it cuts so well. There we go. So I have got so two spare. And one to colour in with my yellow. Rescue cat. Oh, I understand. She was a rescue cat and she still lived to a ripe old age. Well, that's really good, isn't it? Because you worry, don't you, what kind of a start they have and things like that and their health and things. So that's brilliant. Oh, I'm so pleased. Oh. <laughs> 
Right, let's put that one on. Oh, it won't stay. Let's wash my hands. Okay, so we've got that one, we've got that one, got that one. I'm not going to use this one, I use it for the next one. Um, I won't bore you with that one, but I'll do it afterwards. Take a bit of green. This is a soft succulent. Another one of our ink colours. And I'm just going to go a bit mad with it. It's quite green now. That might be too green, but it doesn't matter. You see the difference if you just do it lightly or if you use up some of the ink. See, how green is that? Yeah, that's a bit too much. I had a spare leaf. Let's use the other one. I had one already that I've already made. Blue Peter style. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> and there's a small one. <laughs> okay, well, let's do that. I'm all inky. Pop that one there. I think my coffee's gone cold now. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? That always happens to me though with coffee and cards. Okay, a spare leaf, let's move that. Right, what else do we need? I've got some twine and I was looking for the bumblebee trinkets, but I might have put somewhere safe. They're coming this week so I could show you. Nope, they're not here. I must have put them somewhere to save using them for a project. How annoying. Never mind. Don't turn up in two minutes when I'm not, no, don't need them. Okay, so let's add these together. So I think we will pop them on like that. So just got some different colours. And I think I'll just pop them down like I did before. I'm going to add a little bit of baker's twine. Oh, what's happened? Did I miss something? I'll go back and read it because it's running. It it whizzed by. We are a real nation of both cat and dog lovers, aren't we? Can't imagine why anybody would be mean to an animal. It's beyond me. Right there, we are. space it out a little bit so we can see the whole pansy. We'll have a bit of a sticky up one with our foam dimensionals. I think my husband stopped his, he's just finished in a, in a work meeting. I think he's just stopped for his lunch. Things are starting to smell good from the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Pop that on there. Oh, come off. the leaves in. So I'm leaving space on the bottom right corner to put my sentiment. I could leave it because sometimes I just like to leave it so I can make it into whatever card I like, but I think I'll put a sentiment on it. I'm going to use some baker's twine, I think. Hmm. I think I might. I think I might. Let's decide on our sentiment first. God, I'm so gluey. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's grab a piece of... I'll use one of those two-inch strips because they're handy. And we'll grab, what colour should we use for our sentiment, guys? Maybe I should use, I don't think pale papaya. Maybe I should use this polish pink or the fresh freesia. I think the fresh freesia might be too light. I think I'll use the polish pink. And just do a little hello from me to you. Me to you, little hello. Sometimes the um, photopolymer stamps can 
you can bend them out of shape so they won't necessarily be straight, if that makes sense. So if you want them straight, just let them go back to their natural state and pop your block on like that. Just a little tip to get a nice straight one. And then ink it up. This is a very juicy ink pad, so watch me make a mess. See, it's all over the block. A little hello from me to you. The dog is now aware that my husband's moving around in the kitchen where there might be food. So he's now saying, let me out. You have to wait a minute, mate. Yeah. Right, let's just cut it out, the same as I did last time. So I'm not gonna use another die. I'm just going to cut it out. Just make sure you don't cut off the bottoms of your descenders on your sentiment. Evergreen, oh, that's a good idea. The evening evergreen is a lovely one of those ink colors. That is. A little hello from me to you. Do that one tuck under, the tuck under there, won't it? Nice. Now, let's pop some baker's twine. Let's get some washi tape as well. Grab what I've got handy. I keep a couple of reels on my big shot, on my stamping up cut and emboss machine <laughs> to have, I keep it all attached to my trolley. So I can use it to anchor down any little dies to stop them moving around. But I also like to use it for um, taping my ribbons and things to the backs of cards. So I just use a tiny bit. How to work out where you want it to go. I think I'm gonna want it to go like that. Hmm. Gonna go over the top? I think so. Just for a bit of interest. Like that. And I'm gonna cut it off and stick it down again. Thank you, Helen. It's beautiful what they've done with these. They are pretty much the collection of new ink colours for this year they've used in these papers, all of them. And they all go. So I've kind of used them in the stamping as well. Right, I just wanted to cross that over a little bit. But I think you're not going to see that anyway. The dog is like, please let me out. That's it, that's what I want. And you know what, I'll find those little metallic bumblebees in a minute after I've come off live. That always happens. Three for the nice long sentiment. Just raises it up and gives it a little bit more interest on the card. I want that kind of crossover just to go further up a bit. Otherwise it's hidden. Stick it down well. There we are, just a little bit of something. Let's put some glue on the back. Sure it stays. There we go. There, a little hello from me to you. And then I won't put a stamp on the inside. I'm sure I could find a really nice one. 
Um, I like this one actually, wishing you, I'll put that in, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you, because that's pretty lovely for most people that you want to send a card to. Most people you like if you're sending them a card. <laughs> oh, all the little things you do make such a big difference. That one, I like that one. I'm going to use that. Okay, and we're going to go with, we'll go back with the pink. Hey, evening evergreen, I think it's probably the only in colour I haven't used today. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. It would have worked. I think that's pink. Let's do that again. So, here we go. All right, Alfie, I'll let you work. Just a second, one more stamp. There you go. Let's let him out. Go on then. You think Dad's got chicken, don't you? <clears throat> he thinks that my husband's got chicken, I think, and that he might get some. <laughs> Who's to say he hasn't? I don't know. So I think I'm going to tie in the pale papaya with these gems, with the in colour gems. Like here. I'll just move it over a little bit. There, one there. One there. And pop one up there. These are big. I wish I still had some more of the little ones. I really like the little ones a lot. I'm a bit like that. I might put that one up here then. And then just move this one, move that one over there, over there, over there, over there. here. <laughs> that feels like it flows a bit better. Right. This is very distracting, isn't it? That first sentiment. I love that first sentiment, Joe, as well. The little things you do. No, not that one. Um, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. There, that was a little bit distracting, all that inky splodges. So how's that? You can see it a little bit better. This is not vying for attention with all that ink. So you can see I've made two cute little note cards using the pack of basic white note cards and envelopes. Um, and I've just built up some ink on the pansy dies, cutting them out of white cardstock. <laughs> I'm laughing because the dog has let himself in again. He lets himself in. He can actually open the door handle. And these are the pansy bits I've got left over that I was playing with. So I might make something out of those at some point. I'm glad you enjoyed it, ladies. And I might, I hope I might have inspired you to go off and have a go with, with your ink daubers and your ink pads and some die cuts and have a little sponging. And I hope you like it. And if there's anything that you like that I've used today, that's all available in my online shop from Stampin' Up! at katebolt.stampinup.net or over on my website at inkstampshare.ink everything's over there if you're watching me live thank you so much for joining me really help thank you very much and if you are watching me on replay or over on youtube please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and click that little bell button for notification of future videos as we go along and have a fantastic week and I hope it's kind to you. Um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Lily. Lovely of you to join me. Thank you, guys. I'll be back on Friday for Friday Live over on YouTube. And yeah, I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Oh, enjoy your breakfast, Philomena. It's that time of the day for you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.